and welcome to the second video of this playlist and the first video in which we'll uh, we'll be talking about our commands and we are getting started with the terminal so before let me give you a little bit overview of these things what we are going to do here when operating a Linux operating system you need to use a shell which is an interface that gives you access to the operating system services most Linux distributions use a graphical user interface or GUI as their shell mainly to provide ease of use for their users that being said it is recommended to use a command line interface or CLI because it is more powerful and effective tasks that require a multiple step process through a GUI can be done in a matter of seconds by simp uh, by typing uh, commands into CLI so if you're considering using Linux, learning basic commands will go a long way. But in this video, we are going to talk about few of the simple commands, which is pwd command and cd command. And yeah, ls as well. So first, what you have to do, you have to open terminal. If you can't see it here, you can go to this corner and open uh, the terminal or you can simply search for it. Perfect. Now we have got our terminal opened. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. I hope that the font size is better. Now, first, uh, pwd command. We use the pwd or present working directory command to find out the path of the current working directory or folder uh, we are in. The command will return an absolute or full path, which is basically a path of all the directories that starts with a forward slash. And uh, if you don't know what forward slash is, it is this one. Okay, uh, let's see an example of PWD. When I type PWD, it's, uh, it's displaying the absolute path from home. Okay, home slash Rashid and uh, I, we are currently in Rashid directory. So what if I want to browse and see the contents of uh, Rashid? I have to type simply ls. Perfect. Okay, so now these are uh, the blue colored things which are directories and uh, these white, uh, these in white text are files. Okay. So what if I want to display the hidden contents or hidden files as well? I'm going to do ls hyphen a. So now, as you can see, dot cache dot bash rc um, dot gnu pg, these are the hidden files. <coughs> so if you wonder uh, how we can create or what are the hidden files in Linux, hidden files are those files which are uh, whose name starts with dot and those files are not simply visible in f uh, finder or the explorer file explorer okay perfect we have explored the alice command as well uh, just a bit of information about that now what if i want to change the directory i'm currently in rashid directory and i want to switch to desktop so to navigate through the Linux files and directories, we use cd command. It requires either the full path or the name of the directory, depending on the current working directory that we are in. And let's suppose we are in Rashid directory and we have a subdirectory of desktop. I can simply go by typing this. cd change directory to desktop. Here, you may notice one thing, the Linux is case sensitive. The commands are also case sensitive. We have got desktop with the capital D uh, and uh, in command, we will have to use the capital D. If I use the small cap, there is no such file in our directory. We will have to use capital D here. Now we are in desktop. Let's type ls again. We have got file one here. You can see file one is present on desktop. Perfect. Now, what if I go back simply cd space 
uh, double dot and that takes me back to the previous directory or the higher directory in the hierarchy the parent directory simply but what if I try to uh, go to an absolute path, right? Uh, like, let's go back. And now we are in home directory. Now, what I want, I want to go to the desktop. Just for the reference purpose, if I type Alice, we don't have desktop folder in or desktop directory in the uh, home directory so first I will have to go to Rashid and then desktop I can do simply like this CD if I provide it home Rashid and desktop perfect now we are directly onto onto the desktop if I press Alice if I typed in uh, if I type that particular command we can see file one as a content this thing so these are the two things uh, or the two ways that can uh, be used uh, or the CD command can be used in these two ways, right? Uh, we did talk about ls, which is a simple ls or list command and uh, ls hyphen a and hyphen a is added to display the hidden files as well. So these were the commands for this video. I hope to see you people in the next video for next commands. Thank you for watching.